guys, it's me again. Sorry, I've not been around for some time. Uh, this is actually going to be a new part of a series. It's still to do with pixel art tutorials, but it's actually going to be a redo of some of the older one, the older tutorials I've done. If I didn't talk over the video to explain what I was doing, they're going to be in here where I will be talking over them and some pixel art I have done but I'm going to add something to it or and if I didn't speak into it as well so just bear that in mind so I'm going to great anyway sorry about that loud loud, loud, loud crashing noise um, I'm going to start with something simple this is a simple build quite very simple in fact and we are just going to fire into it. It's Dover King, um, but he's got a bit of a background behind him. He's got like a, maybe a dragon shadow, if you like, or a mountains shadow and a bit of sky. Uh, you don't need to add the sky in if you don't want to. I know the blue sky I mean, can't do the job, but I am going to add in blue sky to show you what it will look like. And you don't need to, because this video is all about options. For example, when we do the background shadow looking dragon shadow thing, <laughs> it could either be your brown concrete, it could be your brown wool, or it can even be dark oak wood planks, spruce planks. They, they can do a very good job, I just didn't know. So it's up to you, experiment in a way. So, this is actually going to be, well, the starting off, it isn't going to make sense. But, hey, we're going to add it in. From this, because it's going to be like a pop wool, I feel like. So you need your black wool, you need yellow wool, and you do need yellow concrete. You need your sand, your light grey wool, your grey concrete powder and white wool they're gonna come in handy so we're gonna start like so and we're actually gonna start in the shadow first uh, so from the very bottom you're gonna use whatever brown wool you've selected and you're gonna go along from the bottom by four to the left Two shades are required of brown, okay? The darker one is gonna, well, they're sort of the same. But for example, if I was using spruce, which, you know what, I will use, I'm gonna put in these two, like so. So, part of the shadow, if you like. So from your darker brown, you've placed two here, you've gotta place one up to the diagonal to the left, and then you're gonna place three going along. Then from the three going along, two up, one up to the diagonal to the left, and place one to the left, like so. So you should have something like that. Now just below it, put your brown wool or your lighter shade of brown right below it. And from here, you're just going to place four blocks going to the left. So one, two, three, and four. I'm going to kind of do the outline to make it a bit easier. So from this block here. Place one up and then two to the left. Like so. Then you're gonna do one up and two to the left again. Like so. And then you're gonna go one up and then one to the left. Like that. Then you're gonna go one up on top of that. So you kinda should have something like that. And from there, you're going to add another 7 to the left. 7? Seven? 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, and 7. I can't go behind because I'm on the edge of worlds. So, great. So, from your 7, you're going to place one block going down. And then you're going to place three blocks going to the left. Well, yeah. Two. Well, three, sorry. Yeah, three. Then one going down. One going to the left, one going down, one going to the left, and one going down. So you should now touch the four. 
Then from here, you're going to place another three. Go to the left. One, two, three. Get your darker shade of brown. Go up by two. And then from back to your ground level, place two brown blocks. Go to the left. From your when you use your darker shade of brown, just place one lighter brown shade on top, one to the right as well, one on top, one to the right, or two to the right, sorry, one on top, one to the right, one on top, one to the right, and one on top again, and then just place one to the right. So you should have something like that. Now from here, you're going to place one block on top, like so, place another block on top and one to the left, like that. So from here you go one up, three to the left, three, one up, and then three to the left again. Then you're going to go one up again. And before you think you're smart, no, you don't go three to left, you go one to the left. Then you're going to place one up and then one to left again. I think so. So from here, you're going to add three blocks on top. So one, two, and three. Get your darker shade of brown. Go one, one to the right, one below it. should have something like this. This may not look make any sense, but it does, trust me. So from there, from your darker shade, you can place one on top, one to the right. Well, another one to the right, sorry. Place one on top of that, place two to the right, and then go down, and then just connect them. Then from here, at the end point, you're going to go one down, one to the right, one down, two to the right. And you're going to go three, two down, sorry, one, two, and you're going to go three to the right, one, three. And then you're going to go one down, and then you're going to three to the right. You're going to go one down, one to the right. One down, three to the right. One down. Like so. And that. Like that, so it should kind of line up with this here. Um, so bear in mind, um, I'm not sure because I've not done it wrong, but your shadow. I don't know if it matters if it's not 100% perfect, like what I'm doing. But remember, it's just the shadow. And shadows are, yeah, random. So, just keep that in mind. So, for those people who are lazy, you know, they can't be bought changing things, and there you go, there's some advice you don't necessarily need. But I'm not promoting that at all. So, place one block to the down of that, so you should have two blocks going down. Off. Get your darker shade and go one here and then place another three going to the right. Like so it should be four. Then go one up to the diagonal to the right and then place another one going to the right. Do that again but going down the way. And then do that again but just add an extra button. So it should be like so. So, yeah, it should be like that. So now, since we've got to this point here, I'll show you what you should have. You should have this. Now, really, from here, all the way down here, where you've had your four brown, if we just follow the outline, so you follow my outline, place one, onto here from your dark brown. Place one to the right, place one on top, and again, one to the right, one on top, 
You do it again. You do it again. And you do it one more time. Like so. You place one block on top of here. One block on top of there. I shouldn't say there aren't even kind of loaded. So you should have something like that. Remember it's a shadow. So if it's not quite like mine, it's not a problem. So from here, you're going to place six going to the right. One, two, three, four, five, and six. Like so. So it should be within the third block where you started. Like so. Now from here, you're going to place three on top. Two and three. Then you're going to go all the way along to the right by one, two, three, four, five, and six, like so. So you should have seven, I believe. Yep, you should have seven. And from not this block, but the one just beside that, you're going to place three going up. Two and three. Place an extra one on top, and then go down, well, go to the right, like so. Go one up and one to the right. So you should have a random shape like this. And before you say no, that's something else. So not maybe that. So now what you're going to do from where you like stopped, well where I stopped, you're just gonna add one, two, three, four, five, six. Should have eight. As in eight pulls one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. I've just done two extra. Uh, in fact, you can do those two extra and just place your black wheel right below the two extra. So from there, you're just gonna get your brown wheel. You're gonna go up by two. Along to the left by three. three like so. Now, at the moment, as far as I'm aware, we do have one more little bit to do with the shadow, and then we're sort of not done because we need to colour it in, but we're not going to do that till the end. So, within your second straight bit, if you like, so here, you're going to go up by two. Okay. Use your dark brown for this, and go up by two, go along as well, so just a, like a two by two. From the top, go along back to the right, I uh, left, sorry, by two. So, that's you. There. So, if you want to get rid of it, it is not a problem. You are done with your dark. Ta-da! <laughs> so, we're gonna actually start on. Uh, well, it'll make sense. You don't fill in the whole brown, all of it brown. But I'll go come back to that at near the end. So over here, we're gonna get your black wool this time. Get your two black, and then your three black on top. And on here, you're not back to the bottom, you're going to place four going to the right. So, then you're going to add five going down to the diagonal to the right. So two, three, four, and five. So you should have something like that. Now on your fifth block, well, add one to the right from your fifth block. Place one on top. So, then one up, then one up to the left diagonal. And then just have another one on top of that. Now, from here, you're gonna place three going to the right, two and three, and go back to the bottom and just line it up. So now. You might recognise what we're now doing, you might not. 
this is actually Doba King's sword, or his mini sword. Um, so, anyway, from the top point here, so this bit here, place one up to the diagonal to the right, like so, and place one to the right. So. Okay, so from here, you're going to place four going down. have some points. Now, from here, from the sword, go one up to the diagonal to the right, like so, and you're going to go one up to the diagonal to the right again, like so. So, from here, we're going to go one up to the diagonal to the left, and just place one block to the side of it. Now we're going to place six blocks going on top. So one, two, three. Place like a check mark to the left up there. And just add another three on top. So one, two, three. And that should be you there. And from this little block placed here, we're going to go one to the diagonal to the left going down. Place one block to the left beside it, one below it. And then two going up, one to diagonal to the right, and then just another one. As well. So that's his horn sort of thing, and his helmet. So from here, one up to diagonal to the right, like so, and then another one going up to diagonal to the right, and then just place two going along to the right, like so. Then we're going to go up by one and to the right by two and then at the bottom by one so you should have something like this so far so from here we're then going to add three going to the right one two and three one at the bottom to the right like so and another one going to the right like so place one to the right and then you're going to place an, a diagonal turn to the right. And you're going to do that again. But on the bottom, then you're just going to add three going down. Three, like so. Then, from the bottom, from the second bottom, place one to the left. A diagonal going up to the left. And then another one. Should have something like that. Okay, them up. Like so. So you should have something along those lines. In fact, on this diagonal like an L. So from this L, if you like, place another four going down the way. Like so and then from your same bottom, place one to the left. So that's that. Now, all what we can do as well, we can connect this all the way along, like that. So that's his head. So, let's continue on. From your very far one up, on your right side of his head, you'll go one down to the diagonal to the right. I'll do that again. Like so. And then I'm just going to place two blocks below it. And then one down to the diagonal. Like that. Place one block below it. Like this. And then go three long to the left. What we do is from your very brown one here, you're gonna place your four or five blocks on the top of your black, four even, and then you're gonna go down to the diagonal 
this and you are going to connect it up. Like that. If it doesn't connect, again, you have done something wrong. So you should have something like that. Now, from this point here, if you didn't do this, I think I told you to do it, but if not, it is free extra to the left when you connect it up, okay? So you're going to place two down from the very end, like so, and two to the left. So place one up to diagonal to the left, place one to the left of it, and go down to the, to the left of the diagonal and place an extra two. So go up by two, two, and you connect. So, place one block above that connection, place one to the right of it, and then you connect it all the way along until like that. So there you go. So you should now recognise this. And we're just going to quickly finish off the shield. Yeah, we forgot to kind of do it the shield. So from this point here, this one, not this one, but the one beside that one. I'm going to go up by three, like so, and you're going to place one up to diagonal to the right. So there's a shield. So that's him on the ground. I know he's kind of floating, but yeah. So there's one thing I just want to quickly do on the shadow before we start getting into the mountings is over here by his foot on the brown just go two down so it's the same as his foot one to the left one down one to the right and then not the one on the right but the one right the block beside that we're going to go two down and then you're going to one to the right and then just go straight down like so so from there, you do not, and then repeat, do not press in with brown. Do not repeat that. Do not do that with brown. Okay? So now, we are going to, well, you can fill that pretty much in, but I'm not going to do that now, and I don't know if you want to, but it's up to you. So I'm going to show you what you should have. And from the very far end, you're going to get your light grey. And you're going to go up by 13 from the very black point here. So 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10, 11, 12, and 13. So you should have 13 light grey. Light grey. With your black, you just place one on top like so and you're going to do one up to diagonal twice so there's one and there's two then from there you're going to get your one up down to one up to the left one up to the right diagonal and then place one block to the right so you should have something like that now you're going to do 10 blocks going up to the right as in with a diagonal so one Two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, and ten. Like so. So it should just be one block, if I'm correct, it should be one block beside it. And I'm correct. And from there, you're going to go down to the diagonal to the right, and you're just going to place up one block, or two blocks, like that, like so. And from there, you're going to go one down to the diagonal to the right, and place another one to the right. Then we're going to start going back up, so one up to the diagonal to the right, and place one block beside it, 
one up to the diagonal to the right, like so. And then go one up to the diagonal to the right and place one block beside it. One up to the diagonal to the right and place two beside it. So like that. So now you should start to see that that's mountains forming. And then from here, you're gonna go down to the diagonal to the right and just place one block below it. One down to the diagonal to the right. One down to the diagonal to the right and one block below it. Down to the diagonal to the right. And then one to the right of it. And do that again. We're going down to the now we're going to go up to the diagonal to the right and place two blocks beside it. Then you're going to go down again to the right and just going to have one block beside it like that. Then we're going to do that again. So go down the way. So. And then you're going to make like your three down here. So down to the diagonal to the right, place another two blocks beside it. Then we're going to go up to the diagonal to the right, like so. One up to the diagonal to the right again, like so. One up to the diagonal to the right, and then place two blocks on top, like so. So you should have this so far. Then you can place one up to the diagonal to the right, like so. One going down to the diagonal to the right, and just place one block below it. And you're going to do that again. One down to the diagonal to the right and place two blocks below this time. And then down to the diagonal to the right by one. And there we go. So it should be in line with this. Okay? So that's you kind of done your mountains, if you like. Um, so really, we just got colour in. And, you know, fill it all in. Um, but I'm going to show you something with the shadow because if there is, I think I should, yeah, obviously don't call that all in. So colouring, in fact, no, what I'll do is I'll do the, the Dover King first, then I'll colour it. First. So, where your brown wool goes down to his feet, which down here, you fill you know, put that in. Get your grey concrete powder that on top of the brown, not on top of here, so I kind of indent by one, like so. Get your light grey wool and place one to the left and one to the right, like so. You have. Now you go to shield, using your light grey, go up to the, up by three. Bottom, three. Get your brown wool shield just, to, just following the pattern really so I thought it kind of just give you like a brown square get your light grey wool and don't fill it all in just add the two in like so and get your white wool and fill so Body, get your brown wool down to two, like so then you're gonna get your in fact, you're just gonna fill all that in, like so. Fill it all in. Then from here, brown down the way, that's it, all the way down. Brown here and brown down. So it's all like, like that. So now what we're going to do is get brown and done that. So get the sand and those almond. Um, in fact, there's something I've got to do. It's important. And I've just realised to get your black wool get rid of that and fill it up by three so it connects up like so. I was looking at it and I was like something's not right but that's why. 
I forgot to put in the black. So you should have like his arm. Just looking like a matchstick, if you like. Get your sand, place one block on top. Get your brown. Place one to the right. And kind of get, oh, well, I can't get your sand right now, but from the top part of your shield here, this one, go along the brown. Get your sand. Fill that in for his like neck. And then here you're gonna place a white and then the rest brown. Just like that. That should be the final result of his body. Go down here, fill this in with grey concrete, as in the three blocks going up. Get your light grey wool and and fill that in like so. So you should have that. Now with his helmet and his horns. I'm gonna go to his helmet first. And with your yellow wool, one block here, and one block there, and then fill that in with yellow concrete. Like so. You're gonna do the same over to the other horn. So yellow, yellow, concrete, concrete. Like so. So now with his face, you're gonna get your gray powder. If you like, you're going to place within, we're going to work to right to left, so one here, one to left, one up, get your sand and go up by two and go left by four, so one, two, three and four, grey powder and go along, fill that in, one up, then put your sand going up as well. Get your black wool and make his mouth. Put the three blocks. Um, the sand should then also be in the middle. Like so. Get your grey powder and make that like so. Go up by one. Go along to the left by two. Don't worry if that falls. Actually, that. Yeah, that's fine like that and then I'm going to go straight up from the center all the way up into that little part here get the see the problem when I've got powder and sand is because I need to use this other part so light grey wool and you're going to fill in so, so two, three then two then one then two So that will make sense, okay? So from this center block, if you like, I call it, I'll call it the center. In line with this, just place two, three going to the left, like so. Then obviously can't do that right now. So get your grey. Actually, get your yeah, it's really grey. Get your dark green, fill that up like so. Fill that up again, like so. Okay, so you should have something along those lines. You should have something like that anyway, not along those lines. Light grey wool from the far left, go up by three. Dark grey powder, and go up by two. So, maybe light grey. You should have something like that. Now with your grey powder, oh no not grey powder just yet because I need to fill that in. So, grey powder, put it in there. Grey powder here and there as well. So it's not quite symmetrical but we are there. Sand, one. The reason I'm not fully explaining him is because, like, the, doing the colour for him is because he's rather straightforward. You should have a rough idea on how to uh, create. So you get your sand again. Actually, that needs to be the same as that. I 
I've just done that one up too much. There we go. That makes sense now. And then we fill that in there. So, oh, and that will be synchronized. That. In fact, I'm going to change the shade in that because that makes it look off, and that is correct. It's not off, but it's meant to be. I am going to get my grey wool because I've not got my grey wool on me. I'm going to change to that with the old that. Take this out and I'm just going to replace all this with the grey. Like so. So that should be quite clear and in fact while we're there There you go. So there is Dover King. Um, I'm actually going to go to the mountains first. In fact, I'll go to the sky just to explain that. So go to your highest peak, which is here. Get your blue wool. Uh, go up by three. Like so. Okay. Now, with this, your top, uh, this is the highest part it will be. Go all the way to the right. Keep going, keep going, keep going. And don't fill that up because that's, that, you know, that should work, yeah. Get your cyan, or your blue wool, whatever you're using, in the sky. Pick it up like that. We're going to do the same. But with the left side as well. Ooh, that that's fine anyway. The sky. Bring that all the way along. So it's very similar. By a couple. And you should have. This and so now I'm not gonna colour it in just yet, I will get me colouring that in, but you colour the, all this with that within that box thing you've made with blue because that's the sky. Now with your white wool, that's going this, your white wool, go to the left highest peak, well same peak as that way enough. Uh you're gonna go down with your white by one. Well, go again, so. And you're gonna do that on here. That's right, here. So there's. Um, so you keep doing that sort of thing all the way down. Down to about Right. Now from this block here, I'm gonna go one down and place two to the right of it. So one and two. And then one up to the diagonal to the right. So you don't need to get rid of this colour because that's fine. Two up. So one to the right. That, so that's where that's gonna be. So two down from here. Like that. Um, and then you've got to go to the right, like so. And one down, so that's like that. And then you're going to place four to the right, okay? From here, so one, two, three, and four. Okay, so it should be five. And then in the center point, you place one white wheel going down, okay? So you should have something like that. And that should be filled in the white as well. A little gap we have. So from here, just above it, above this, so yeah, this point here, this white, just go straight along with your white until it connects up with the black. Okay. And all that is just white, so I'll quickly fill that in to show you what I mean. Because there'll be no 
bit of detail on there. It's just the white of the system on mountains. So, that's it. You can also fill that in because that's kind of annoying me as well with the white. Like that. Okay. Now, from our this one going down and you've placed your two to the right, you're going to go up by one and you're going to go along by one. Okay. And you're going to do that again. Then miss out two. Two block. Like so. We give that so. And connect that all the way up. That should require four blocks in total. Okay. So it should be like that. Like so. In fact, I'm going to edit that a little bit. So. Like that. So three blocks in total. Now from here where we've left our two gap just go down by one from this block one to the right down by one down to the right well not down to the right just to the right and then down by one and then you're going to do that and actually i'll get my light gray wool from dover king go up by yeah there we are this white but now can go all the way along to the right until it connects to the black. So now it does get a bit complicated, right? That's why I'm using different ones to help you or to help. And these can be random, it's up to you. You there can be tons of variation on this. But from your horn, so down here, just place two light grey to the right. Okay. And then, what to do is place another two to the right of that, like so, and bring the two, the first two blocks you up, shooting up until it touches the white. So, okay. So now, within the fifth block of going up, so here one, two, three, five, you're going to place two blocks to the right. One block down, right, you can connect that all the way along until there's one block left. You have to do that. So from down here, I saw that I'll be like green. There. So, so all this now is you know, light grey. Fill that in, but I'm going to go straight to the next point, it's up to you when you want to do that and you don't. Everything within the horn, I would say, or even here in fact, light grey, bring that all the way along, but there is going to be part of the mountain, right, okay. From here, just bring that down. I know I'm not explaining this, as I have said, it's a rough idea, okay? You do not need to fully copy this. Uh, I mean, you can if you want. So now, the rest, obviously, everything above, you know, these grey lines, I'll show you. This is all going to be white, okay? That's all going to be white, that's all white. Um, I'll show you what I mean. Here as well, actually, light grey. So that's all going to be light grey. So that's all light grey. Just filling it all in. Uh. That can be light grey as well. Like that. And yeah, really everything. So all this will be white. That'll be white. That'll be white. This bit here. There, white, white, white. Light grey, light grey, light grey, light grey. So fill all that in. For your shadow as well, 
except from this but under the sword fill all that in with brown so once you've done that you have pretty much finished and I will we'll call it out me doing it and I'll meet you guys after I've finished all right so I've now just finished my build uh, for it I did fill in because I did finish with just the brown and the gaps didn't look right so I just filled it in with white to represent the snow uh, obviously because I would have put brown to represent the ground but you know it's kind of obviously get rid of the shadow so I've done that it looks quite nice uh, looks out of place actually because obviously it just ends so what I might do as well like if I'm doing an art creation of some or something add it going all the way along different kind of art sort of stuff so yeah that's you if you've done um that's that's all what you have to do for that um a very nice build i uh, enjoyed doing it quite a while but i think that was because adding in detail and you know trying to explain it so i'm sorry it was a, took quite long but hopefully you guys enjoyed please share it would definitely help me out like comment and if you haven't already, definitely subscribe. It's worth it. Because uh, now I'm obviously doing more videos and stuff. And, you know, and we're nearly at 1,000. So, woo. Don't know what to do for the 1,000. So any suggestions, put in the comments. And I'll get you, ev I'll get everyone in the next video. So, uh, from me, goodbye for... Well, goodbye for now. Thank you for watching and I'll see you guys soon. Bye.